Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me and Diego back at it again. We're gonna be working on my SI. So, I've had this part for a while, and Diego's finally like, let's just fucking do it, because he feels confident since he wired in the <laughs> fog light on the RSX. So, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting in my wideband, and then we're gonna try to also put in my oil pressure gauge, but we're missing something from that, so we might have to head to town after we put in the, whatever this is called. The white band, yeah. Because I need some Teflon tape. And I hope they do have it here where we live, but if they don't, we'll have to make a trip to town. So, yeah, we got the car already in the air. Front bumper's already off. Um, it's already on safe jack stands. Yeah. Diego, what are you doing right now? I'm loosening the secondary O2 sensor. What? Loosening the secondary O2 sensors. Which one is it? Oh, this one <laughs> So, so, secondary O2 sensor is the one furthest away from your motor. Your primary is the one closest to the motor. Hey. So, that's the one you need to take out, especially when you're tuned. Um, they usually shut off that secondary O2 sensor anyways. So, that one's not being used. Um, I'm going to be using that. So, right now Diego's undoing it. And then we're going to have to feed the wires through, wire it up, and hopefully it works. So, let's get to it. All right, so we gotta take apart the interior. Uh, these pieces right here just pop out. And then there's one screw over here, or clip. It's like right there. And then there's another one on the other side, and then there's two screws right here. You just lift up this little cubby. Yeah, see, I already took them out. And then there's one screw right here, and then another one and it should come out fully and voila it's already out diego's unplugging the o2 sensor why diego fucking tight all right it's good <laughs> gotta pull out the o2 okay because we don't need it no more yep hey look there's an allen key down here oh there is oh that's the one <laughs> hey wait wait, wait. there's, there's another, another one? one bro what the fuck you doing with all these allen keys no wonder we don't have any hey man shut up you know what's from Tightening this shit. Yeah, tightening the hybrid racing shifter. That's what. That's one thing I've had to constantly do, guys, with this shifter, is tighten this bushing. Um, I probably should send it back to hybrid racing because this bushing is kind of going boo boo. So what now, Diego? Pull out the old O2. I'm gonna feed the. I'm gonna feed the wide band wiring up here, so grab it. Okay. Cool. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see. There's a hole. Right there, it's a little asshole right there. See? He's gonna feed me the wires. That way I can have power to my wideband. Alright, Diego fed through the wires. We got my wideband right here. If it would focus. Nope. Okay, well it's not gonna focus. Well it's my wideband. Um now just connected it already. Now we have to connect these wires and see if it works in the beginning before we even put it in together. So what do we wire it to? <laughs> I don't know. But Diego is my wiring wizard because he's Arc Flash guy. Arc Flash. <laughs> Diego, what are you doing? Well, I'm wiring this stupid shit you gave me. <laughs> so we have an add a circuit and then we're going to cut into, well, add on to, what is it, number 22? Mm -hmm. And then plug it in and see if we're getting any power to the wideband. Diego, go through what you did. Uh, I wired it up to the 122 fuse on the fuse box and we'll see if it's gonna work. Alright. Let's see. Key on. <gasps> we got it power! Works. This is poo. Oh, it says okay. poop. Alright. Why is it running 15 minutes? Now, <laughs> yeah, why is it running so, so lean? Alright, now let's try to start it. Tuck everything and make it look nice. All right, let's go. All right, time to tuck everything. So, to get my wide band ready, I have a gauge pot holder for the H N S I. Um, it actually covers right here. So, we just pop it out. Just use a flathead, pop it out. And then the new one I got is actually the accelerate one. So, 
yeah cool gonna unbox this and then get ready to put in so Diego's gonna tuck all the wires and I'm gonna do this so yeah so here's the gauge pod holder from accelerate um, I think this is the best looking one in my opinion for the HN instead of like you know the whole rice one on the side pillar damn Diego's getting down <laughs> Um, so this one just uses four clip-in holes, and you just get them from your old one. And there's plenty of spare, obviously, as you can see. You just need four of them. So, yeah. Gonna do that while Diego's doing this, so, hell yeah. I'm excited about this. Alright, I got it. Got those clips in. So, now, Diego already tucked it. Um... We're going to say we have the things needed to do the oil pressure gauge. If not, then we'll put it in tomorrow. Before we put in everything back together, I want to put in the oil pressure gauge. I have an AM oil pressure gauge also to match it. Um, I don't even know where the wide band is. Oh yeah, it's right here. So, we're pretty much going to do the same shit. But to use the AM oil pressure gauge on the SI, we need this adapter. It's the, the BSPT to NPT stainless oil field feed block. It's pretty much just an adapter for your oil pressure sensor. Put this in to where your oil pressure sensor goes. Make sure you use some Teflon tape, which we almost didn't do, but we found someone that has Teflon tape for me to use. And then just put some Teflon tape on the things that you're gonna put it on. That way you get a good seal and you're set. So I'm gonna get onto that. I got the oil pressure sensor out. I just need to put it all together and get it done. So, the oil pressure sensor on the SI is right above the oil filter and it's a 24 millimeter to just take this out. So pretty simple and easy. Just take it out. Make sure you guys use Teflon tape when you guys re-thread things, especially with the oil because it's like a thread sealer. So I'm gonna do that and it should be pretty simple. I'm gonna be using the PRL adapter. I'm gonna put this in where the uh, OEM pressure sensor went and then I'm gonna put the pressure sensor into one of these holes and then also put the pressure sensor for the AEM on one of the other holes so pretty much simple and forward just put it in it's a little bit more dirty than the wide band but oh well gotta get it done so let's get this done three hours later a little update we're not mechanics <laughs> honestly so we just spent the last Four hours putting in those two sensors. This is such a bitch. There's like, because like on the HN, there's like nothing but header, bolts, shield, and then everything else. So, like, it sucks. No space. There's literally like no space. No. I had to take off the oil filter, too. Plug right there, you can see the plug and the oil pressure sensor. Don't do this at home. Let an expert do it. Yeah, honestly, don't ever do this, guys. Diego cut off the harness to the AM, and then we're extending it so it can reach into here because it doesn't reach. Go through that same grommet right there. You can see where the wires are at. So we're gonna go through that same grommet and then pretty much repeat, and hopefully it works. Because if not, I'm gonna be so pissed. All right, Diego, time for the moment of truth. Oh, we got power. Both of them. Both of them. Okay, right power now. to both of them. All right, now, let's see if it reads anything. Why does it say zero? <laughs> cool. Imagine. Working. Wide band is working. Whoa. Awesome. It's about two o'clock in the morning. We've been working on this since like 6 p.m. Diego's my wiring wizard. I owe him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you got the RSX out there. <laughs> I see you got the RSX out there. We'll see. We'll see what the plan is. Um, thanks to Diego, I was able to get this done. I I am not a wiring person, so I can't get this done. And Diego knows the right things to do. On that note. I also like to add clothing is coming soon. If you guys would like some clothing and support NH, it would mean a lot to all of us. <laughs> uh, I'm so tired to be honest. <laughs> but 
If you guys like the content, if you guys like the video, comment down below, like, comment, subscribe. We're just gonna go ahead and put the car back together and the car's not all the way in. So we can't just leave it like this and get on it to tomorrow. So yeah, I hope you guys. That looks so cool. <laughs> he said that looks so cool. <laughs> so on that note guys, just stay inspired to inspire this. See you guys later.